as part of the FIFA three days for international friendlies. There is no end in sight for Ghana-Nigeria clashes. Absolutely. I mean, wherever they go, they seem to be meeting up. And it's always something else. This afternoon, at the volleyball court, Nigeria trying to put some pressure on the Ghanaians. Hananyami had to come in to stop the run from Lobet Ede. It's a venue where a couple of years ago Ghana beat Nigeria to win the Wafu Championship. It's a foul for Nigeria. Blessing Ope brought down by Ophelia and Ponsa. And Ophelia is livid. She disagrees with the call of the referee by the stance. She caught the right leg of the Nigerian and there's no questions about the decision taken by referee Geraldine. But the Ghanaians should be careful the way they are causing fouls within their final third and then their goal area because you can't be doing that against a Nigerian side that is clinical and finished. They have the experience and the exposure. They better watch it so that they don't get penalized for it. Captain Alani to take the free kick for Nigeria. Victoria Alani swings one in straight to Ghana's goalkeeper. Afi Amenyeku. Ghana loses possession. Ball force to Chioma Olise. Nigeria looking very comfortable on the ball at this stage. Here is Chioma. It's a long drive from afar and Amenyeku is right to let and grabs it for Ghana. Won the ball. Got fouled by the Nigerian number 10. Free kick for Ghana. Tracy Chum, she's already been on the score sheet in this tournament for Ghana. She steps up for the free kick. She scored against Tanzania in that 2-1 win for Ghana. And she's lined up for this free kick again, Tracy Chum. She also scored in the 3-1 win against Senegal. And she's among the top scorers in Africa during the under-20 qualification. She had four goals to her name. And this evening, she's still on call. Will she convert to this one? Only time will tell. The Real Sociedad ladies player lines up to take this one. She sends one in. Tricky one. And it goes out. For a goal kick. Not a bad attempt from Tracy Chum. Nearly took the Nigerian goalkeeper. Fit. Omalina by surprise. It's a handball against Ghana. This evening, Ghana has it tells you how anxious the Ghanaians are to stop the Nigerians but I think that they need to be careful a chance for Nigeria what a mistake Thanks. from Ghana's goalkeeper Afi Amenyeku she's basically gifted Nigeria the opening goal what a howler how did she do that in an epic game like this Nigeria in the lead against Ghana in Cape Coast it's Ghana nil Nigeria won and She's got herself to blame. Let's see how it happened. Long ball taken by Nigeria's Oladipo. This was harmless. She handled it. She left it. And Nigeria score. The opening go through. Love it. Ede. You realize that a similar foul was committed. A similar mistake was committed in the game against Uganda. In the final group game. I mean, these are the kind of things you do and you get punished for it. And moments ago, we were just talking about the need for them to watch it. 
they shouldn't be playing around their goal area at all because you can't do that against a clinical side like Nigeria. So Lovett scores her first goal in the competition and it couldn't come at any time than the finals. It's Nigeria up by 1-0 against Ghana. The Falconets in the lead against the Princesses of Ghana. Judith Oka up against Ghana's Comfort Yeboah. Nigeria in possession, blessing Ope. She's looking for options, but it seems her outstretched arm caught the face of Ghana's Abna Anuma Opoku. That's the earlier build up. Good run from Mukarama. She did well to control the ball. She was trying to cut back, but Tracy unable to connect it. She did all she could, only to be denied by the woodwork. Good chance, Ghana Bergen. Nigeria left off the hook not too sure she made the needed contact she line is a throw in against mafia nyame she's got no business protesting they had already gone outside the line it's interesting how players would always want to take advantage of such i mean it was clearly over the line but she thought she had played it backing and so she wanted to go run with it but the assistant referee was right there on the spots and she called she made a right call nigeria stringing passes together chioma olise trying to put one through for blessing Ope. good defensive play from ghana's hana nyame abiba sends one in looking for mafia nyame it's too much for mafia it's a goal kick and that's the whistle to wrap up the first half here in cape coast Africa Games Accra 2023 Women's Football Edition Finals between two West African rivals who have brought their rivalry alive in Cape Coast once again Nigeria taking the lead through Lude to drop their guard They have 15 minutes away from now to be champions once again They'll be hoping that time will take away faster than it is right now the Ghanaians, on the other hand, will be hoping that their efforts, their efforts will yield the results they desire, possibly pushing this game into extra time. But you are thinking, why Basigi, up until this point, hasn't made any substitutions to the Ghanaian team, as the Nigerians have already come up with a couple of substitutions. Here is Mukarama Abdullahi for Ghana. There she finds Comfort Yaboa. Yaboa wants to shoot her for his block, but she stays down. A chance for Ghana. Can Ghana equalize? And that's the equalizer. Ghana have equalized. And who? Tracy Chum. The black princesses are back in it. It is Tracy Chum who puts the Ghanaians on level pegging. It's Ghana 1, Nigeria 1. A perfect time to get equalizer and push the game push the game possibly into extra time if you do not get a second goal within the regulation 90 minutes but it is a sweet sweet performance from the Ghanaians they have them pop they search for it they never gave up I told you about the mental fortitude they needed and the can-do spirit and when they needed it most Tracy Chum steps up and she makes it count Ghana won Nigeria won. Look at the build up to the goal. She took it one time without a touch. Brilliant, brilliant finish. This is a quality finish from a player who really didn't live up to it in the second half. But when it matters most, she's made it count. Tracy puts Ghana up on level pair again. I think give the credit to Berlin. Berlin did well in ensuring that she got the ball to Tracy at the right time. The whole focus was on the left. And then she decided that it was a good time to switch play. And she did. Ghana, when I was about to talk about substitutions, Ghana comes up with a substitution. Success, Amiya, is coming in for Ophelia and Ponsa. You spoke about the fact that Ophelia really has not lighted up the game like she should. And she's making way for Amiya. I think that Nigeria... Amenyek who's balling. 
headed out by Judith Oka. Abiba Isa has been asked to relax as the Nigerians come up with another substitution. This time it is Nancy Okinwa who the Nigerians will be taking off. It's a like for like substitution brought in another center back Okinwa had a decent first half but she struggled in the second half she's already on a yellow Chance for Ghana. Here is Mukarama. That is a brilliant turn. Ghana in the lead in extra time. It is Mukarama Abdullahi. She's shot Ghana in the lead from a goal down. The Black Princesses are within a touching distance of the gold medal. It's 98 minutes extra time football the black princesses are on course for a host and win of the africa games 2023 women's football edition is ghana 2 nigeria 1. how they always want to come back i think their incredible story at this competition has been one of great comebacks we saw them against i mean you can't you can't beat Mukarama when she has the ball on her on her best right foot. She turned lovingly, lovingly. You know what? You want to give some credit to Mefia Nyame, the presence of mind, the composure to flick the ball into the path of Mukarama. But Mukarama is always going to be Ghana's star girl. The precision, the calmness, and the connection, top class. Ghana two, Nigeria one. No wonder she was the celebration, the toast of Ghana when they went to the World Cup in the other 70 World Cup in 2017. I think that she's rediscovered herself and gradually she's proven why she's among the top scorers in the world when it comes to youth football. Ghana leading Nigeria 2-1. It's 100 minutes of football in Cape Coast. But the Ghanaians better be wary and not play any dangerous games in their goal area because it's not over yet it's not over yet and the nigerians also have great comeback stories they would want to penalize you and punish you and so they'll come harassing you so this will be no time for you at all to play any games within your goal area nigeria pushing for the equalizer but the Ghanaians desperately defending mukarama the goal scorer she's up against philomena yina Ola the post clearance. The Nigerians are believing they can come back. Here is Okuchuku down the right side, sends a cross, and Nigeria coming close. Abiba, great header away. Good defending from the Ghanaian centre back. Abiba Isa, she's been incredible in central defence for the Ghanaians. And to think that she's fasting. The cutback from Okuchuku nearly met with the connection of Nigeria striker Judith Oka only for the Astaras as they throw in for Ghana. This extra time has been a really entertaining and interesting one. No dull moments. Each side trying to undo the other but it is the Ghanaians who can smile because they are in the lead. The Nigerians are under pressure because their reign is almost over. It's under threat, serious threat. And unless they can produce something within the last few minutes left of this game, it will be over. Yosef Basigis, Black Princess, is on the verge of making history. Is a best throw in. Ezekiel Kles for Nigeria. Comfort your boys, header back. 
Kabile Kubile Yaboa Amia to Abiba Al Hassan Tracy Chum is a lovely pass. He's looking for Mefia Nyame and Mefia is up against the Nigerian captain Alani. she up to Mafia she sends the ball in not good enough with a goal kick she's lifted up by the Nigerian captain that's a delight to watch one more minute 220 minutes of grilling entertaining competitive football it's Okuchuku for Nigeria. Last woman to equalize. Sends the shot across and it's not causing any problem for the Ghanaians. It's a goal kick. Okuchuku is left dejected and disappointed. Indication of additional time about to be indicated. So, Ghana to Nigeria 1. Not sure we'll go more than five minutes, but there's a player down. Two minutes of additional ball is controlled by Nigeria's Chioma Olise. She's been quiet in this evening's game. She's been one of their best players, but not against Ghana. Abiba Isa, she's been amazing for the Ghanaians in defense. She's refusing to take the ball right behind her. She, she. Oka has got to pick it up for the Ghanaians. It's interesting. That kind of psychological tactics. Philomena Yina. Okuchuku. Blessing Okbe goes down and that's the final whistle. It's all over. Ghana have won gold at the 13th Africa Games Accra 2023. A feat masterminded by Yusif Basigi, the same coach who won gold for Ghana in 2015. He's been able to do the same with the Black Princesses of Ghana. He's guided Ghana to beat Nigeria again after guiding Ghana to beat Nigeria in the inaugural Wafu B Under 20 Championship last year in Kumase. The Ghanaians have repeated what they did to the Nigerians back last year here in Cape Coast. Ghana. So Ghana and Nigeria scoring it off in the finals of the women's football. Competition of the 13th Africa Games 2023, the Cape Coast Sports Stadium, the venue of attraction as the two West African powerhouses lock on once again in a battle for supremacy and bragging rights. Nigeria had an earlier chance when this free kick was nodded in by the goal scorer. Love it, Ede, only to get onto the roof of the net. Tracy Chum's free kick, very close but unable to beat Nigeria's Omalina. The moment the Nigerians had their opening goal, poor goalkeeping from Ghana's Amenyeku, gift to Nigeria's Lovett Ede. With a cool finish, it was handed to her on the plate and she took it really well. Yes, and I mean, at those games, the Ghanaians, except the game against Ethiopia, conceded in each of the games they played in. Mukarama had a chance to connect the ball to Tracy Chum, but she was unlucky. Her effort just hit upright. It could have been Ghana's equalizer even before the break, but unlucky Tracy hitting the upright. 
Yabua's free kick headed down by Mukarama, but there's nobody to the end of it to connect for Ghana. Those were one of the tense moments the Nigerians had to go through as the Ghanaians went in search of the equalizer. That's the incident that resulted in a near second goal. Again, it was Yaboa who gifted the ball to Eda. And that's some classic defending from Ghana's Abiba. Nearly finding the back of the net. Nigeria's striker delights in Sir Isaac. I mean, you could have to prevent the one with the leg. That's an inter I mean, an alert goalkeeper because he could have beaten him. At this point, if the Nigerians had scored, it would have been disastrous because Ghana were go down. But back from recess, the Ghanaians had renewed energy trying to go at the Nigerians. But they kept on coming and looking for a second. The goal scorer was trying to double her tally, but Ghana stayed tight at the back. This free kick into the side net, not troubling the Nigerians. And here, Tracy with a quality finish to draw level for the Ghanaians lovely goal I mean perfect strike she seems to have made up for all the messes she had earlier and you can understand the raw from the stands celebrating the goal and Mukarama will join her to celebrate right in front of the Ghanaian fans and there she goes Tracy Chum magnificent finish this evening there was no chair for her to do the kudu style of celebration the king cometh ghana kept on believing and pound you know putting pressure on the nigerians eventually it paid off here berlin Nyaku could have made it to she tried to lock the ball over the goalkeeper. Full time ended 1 1 with both teams gasping for breath after 90 minutes of football. Here, Abiba collided with a goalkeeper. It nearly resulted in an own goal, but Mukarama's finish. Exquisite quality. Top the class. Awesome. The winning goal is the kind of goal that deserves to win you a gold medal quality finish from a quality player she brought her experience to bear not only on the game but in the kind of goals she scored Mukarama Abdullahi virtually wins the gold medal for Ghana with that right footed drive it got to a point in time the fans were against her and now they are loving her from villain to heroine absolutely and ghana had to deny nigeria this last opportunity it had to be abiba isa and when the final whistle went the stadium just went alive as the ghanaians celebrate their second gold medal winning feat at the african games in the women's category full-time ghana two nigeria one Time for medal presentation ceremony. So it's been an interesting final, Ghana versus Nigeria. And at the end of the day, the new champions are Ghana. And we would want to say thank you from commentary position in Cape Coast. So we meet again another time. Have a blessed evening. It's been amazing. It's been an exciting coverage. Congratulations to the Ghanaians. Hopefully, the male side of Ghana do the same against Uganda. Thank you very much for joining us. Congratulations to Ghana. Better luck to Nigeria next time. Bye-bye for now.